right, guys, I've been waiting all weekend for the FedEx guy to get here. You know that saying, big thing come to small packages? I guess it's not a small package, but it's a small bike. I already know what it is. I guess you don't know what it is, but now you do. You see the, see the box? Wildcat BMX, mini BMX at that. That's the handlebars. I got to have to order an extra pair of handlebars. They sold them separately. Hopefully the pegs are in here. Let's get this thing going and unbox and show you what's up. Let's go. So here is the packaging. You got a pretty normal size box. I don't know what size box I was expecting it to come in. I really don't know what I'm expecting with this whole thing. This thing's so excited. I'm so happy to open it. See here we have the pizza box style. We got royal purple check with disc brakes check. No turbo wheel. I had to wait on that. I'm gonna get into all the details and why I got what I got and why I didn't get what I get and how much it costs and if it's worth the money. So without further ado, let's get this thing unboxed and opened up. All right guys, everything's out the box. See here we got the bike, seat, cranks is on there, wheels come on there. Got the neck on there already. Only thing it seems that doesn't really come quite on there is the pedals. I got both of them in here. It says online they got about 90% of the bike already completed. So. Hi bud. Say hi. All right, so a little update on the process. When I ordered this bike, I didn't think the small handlebars would be big enough for me. These ones here that came with it, they say medium, not small. They, they look, I think I could get with them, get by with them, but these are the other ones that I ordered right here. These are the large ones, oil slick. And I think they look pretty nice on here. Put it up on that, yeah. That looks good. What you think, well, Matt? Pretty good? Yeah. He likes it. But these don't have grips on them. Nor did I buy any. So these are going to go on at another time, sadly. I'm going to have to wait to put these on. I'm going to put the ones that originally came on the bike first. See how they work anyways. Might as well not knock it before you try it anyway. So we're going to put these on. But on the bad side of things, remember I told you all about the pegs. The pegs were supposed to come in the box with these. And they didn't come in this box, nor did they come in the box with the bike. So that's a big disappointment. I really wanted to do flatland. That was one of the main things I got this far. Obviously, I ain't going to be riding around in the street. I'm going to be out of breath going to the corner store in this thing. I just want to ride around, stand on the pegs and stuff, but that's going to have to wait. I'm going to have to hit up the customer service. Which customer service is pretty good. They are very fast on Facebook at least. I will give them that, but I'm very disappointed that I don't have my pegs. Just another thing. But let's keep it going.
you see it's all done I got the original 2A royal purple these are some of the parts I took off I took off the brakes and the brake levers I don't think I'm gonna need brakes on this thing I'm not gonna be going fast you are gonna be using so much energy just to even get going on this thing I don't think you're gonna need brakes and it's gonna mess up with your bar spins it doesn't have a gyro and stuff like that and the reason I got this original 2A they have different categories in this bike the prices start out at let's see 269 and they go all the way up to $500 and between those two price points, you get a lot of different variables. Not a lot. I say about at least three to four different things. You can get disc brakes, the Pro Turbo Wheel, which apparently gives you stronger and lighter, which I do not have. I couldn't afford it. I couldn't. I couldn't. That, and that's another thing. With, with this site, you really had to pick and choose between the lesser evils or the just just which one was heavier to see what you really want you had to buy the complete package you couldn't customize pick that pick what you really wanted that was the biggest frustrating thing about this i wanted the three-piece cranks i thought i could do without the pro turbo wheel i'm not going to be hitting mega ramps and stuff on this i'm no pro like i said i just and you can get the the sealed neck and that's one thing i would have liked the sealed neck and the forks and bigger bars which now i see i don't think i need bigger bars they're pretty much the same size these are apparently the largest and these are the mediums on the website it looked like you could tell the difference i don't know if these aren't actually largest but they're about the, the same same size they're almost new. i kind of feel like i wasted my money so to get these handlebars here and the pegs that i don't have cost me an extra 113 dollars on top of the $389 that I paid for this bike. So I almost ended up paying about $500, which is more than I paid for my Pro Edition Fit Nordstrom, and about the same price I paid for my 24 inch Sunday. And I think that's pretty quite, that's, that's pretty crazy. But it is what it is, I made the purchase, I kept going back and looking at it, and I was like, hey man, I'm just gonna go ahead and buy it. I'm upset that I couldn't get everything that I wanted on it, but it just was not worth the price for me, personally. I couldn't justify paying over $500 for this. Like, that's, that's ridiculous. To get everything that I wanted, I had to pay $500. I still have to buy pegs, another $40. And that's just for the two rear. To get another front pegs is another $40. That's a, what? five hundred and eighty dollars and then to get the bars that i thought i needed which is another 70 man that's that's way too much money for this thing personally but it does pay to go ahead and get the pro edition right out the box if it's everything you got you needed if you found the package with the right stuff on it that you need it does pay at the long run if you're going to get the cheapest model end up souping it up and attaching parts there over time you will be paying a lot more money just go ahead and get the Pro Edition if you have the money and if you really feel like you need it. All right, guys, I thought I'd go ahead and just talk about the bike as I play some clips from the park and while I'll be talking about just my experience with the company and performance of the bike as far as the ordering process goes it was pretty easy standard pick what you want add it to your cart nothing special with that pick your shipping and when your bike gets here it comes in the box as you saw earlier it's very easy to assemble they made it very easy anybody could do this I think I only needed like one tool and that was it. And I'm very happy for that. I think a two-year-old could assemble this bike. And as far as the upgrades go with it, do you really need the turbo wheels and all that extra stuff, the lightweight performance? Hell no. I think if you saw me doing what I was doing, low when he's there, it held up just fine. I don't, maybe if you're gonna be going down El Toro, yeah, I would take it, but I think you'll be all right. And as far as the audience for this bike goes, 
it's really for kids it is for adults but really the kids when i pulled up all the kids got excited some people got some older dudes got excited but who's who's really going to spend the money on this if your parents will go ahead and really spend this money on this you're you're a lucky kid you're very you spoiled little kid on oh, cool man i'm a grown man i thought it was cool i decided to waste my money on it tell y'all about it so here it is here i am telling you and my overall opinion with it with the company um eh I didn't get my pegs as I ordered. I had to explain this dude a hundred times that my pegs didn't come in the box. He kept coming up with different excuses on what well, you need to go get on why it was. I guess it was my fault. I did put the wrong, not address. I just didn't put my apartment number. So they ended up getting stuck at the post office. And I had to take three trips to the post office and keep telling this dude that they weren't good with me. So they finally refunded my money back. And not everything was exactly pictured as it was on the website. On the website, it said I was going to get a purple neck or stem, whatever it is. I just got a black one. It's cool. The purple would have really set it off. I thought that was cool. And the bike's heavy, man. I think the bike's heavy as hell for as small as it is. And when it com compares to the, the, the rockers and the other mini bikes, I don't know. But bike's pretty damn heavy for it for its size and what do i think the bike's beautiful they did an excellent execution on it the paint job's great they it's, it, they did a very good job on the build of the bike like as you can see here they got logos on the seat the oil stick was great like it's a purity man that's a little pimp it's a little houston bike a little dj screw thing i like it I think it's really cool, but would I buy it again? Honestly, I don't think I would buy it again. I was really curious to see how it was. It's definitely fun, man. It's definitely fun, but I have other hobbies and other things I would definitely rather spend my money on after it. I had a blast on running at the park, but since then, I, don't, I haven't even taken it to the park. I just don't have that much time, and when I do have time, yeah.